guys, this is Dr. Tio Wan Lin, and in today's episode of Dermatology Flash Briefing, we're going to talk about hormonal acne, its causes, as well as treatment with birth control pills. We're going to start with the influence of sex hormones on the skin. So the reason why male skin is coarser in texture, oilier than female skin is because it is influenced by testosterone. When a female undergoes menstruation, there is a drop in the uh, estrogen and progesterone levels just before one's period starts. And this can trigger off the oil glands to produce more sebum, uh, which is an oil that lubricates your skin and excess oil production results in increased comedone formation or in layperson's terms clogged pores and acne breakouts the fluctuation of hormones can also predispose to skin inflammation a key pathway in the development of acne and can also make the environment much more conducive for acne-causing bacteria. These same hormonal fluctuations before the onset of the period is also responsible for PMS, which is itself associated with increased stress. And this is a psychological reaction that can also worsen acne. The way birth control pills work in the treatment of adult hormonal acne is via manipulation of the levels of circulating sex hormones. Most oral contraceptive pills used for the treatment of acne specifically contain these two ingredients, a derivative of estrogen as well as cyproterone acetate, itself a progestin, Medication that is also an anti-androgen, meaning that it counteracts the effects of testosterone. So this means that if you have higher levels of circulating estrogen, uh, which is physiologically the case for men versus women, you're going to expect softer, smoother skin. So when you are suffering from hormonal acne and you take a birth control pill, you are essentially increasing the levels of circulating estrogen. And at the same time, if you are taking a medication designed for the treatment of acne, such as one that contains the anti-androgen cyproterone acetate, it's going to block the effects of testosterone, which is responsible for acne flare-ups just before your period starts. Sometimes you do observe this phenomenon amongst women who have been on the birth control uh, pill for several years and sometimes decades. And suddenly, when they are thinking of starting a family, there is an abrupt withdrawal of the supply of estrogen that the body is so used to, and they develop hormonal acne. That can be a physiological reaction which can settle uh, by itself within uh, a month or two months, but it can also be a symptom of underlying polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. PCOS manifests in women with the following symptoms, increased hair growth, what we term as hirsutism, adult onset acne that's also recalcitrant to treatment and also weight gain and irregular periods. The treatment for PCOS also involves taking contraceptive pills to regulate the circulating amounts of estrogen. When you are on a contraceptive for decades, it is possible that it disguises the fact that you actually have polycystic ovaries. So when you stop it and you develop these symptoms, it could be a sign that you do need to have a gynecological follow-up to evaluate your condition. Are the effects of birth control pills temporary? The important thing to understand is that if you do have a strong family history of inflammatory acne or cystic acne, and especially so if 
an individual you uh, know in, or you're related to in your family has been treated with a medication known as isotretinoin, you are very likely genetically predisposed to severe forms of acne, cystic acne, and while oral contraceptive pills can help to treat such types of acne, it is very likely that when you stop the contraceptive pill, the underlying acne condition will act up again. So in that sense, it is a temporizing measure. But how acne itself should be treated is not merely with oral medications or if you're using an oral contraceptive pill, it shouldn't be the only therapy you're on. So it's a combination of physical therapies in the form of blue light treatment, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, certain types of lasers, combined with topical therapy, which can include anti-inflammatory botanical actives. Chlorella vulgaris is an algae-derived extract that can regulate sebum production. The traditional acne medication uh, in the category of retinoids would be medications such as tretinoin adapalene. So these reduce the occurrence of comedone formation, but can also have medium to long-term side effects such as increased dryness of the skin, what we call retinoid dermatitis. A promising ingredient in the treatment of acne is a TCM-derived herb known as berberin. Berberin acts on hormonal acne via the following pathways. First of all, it reduces and regulates sebum production via intervention in the hormonal pathways. Secondly, it also directly reduces inflammation and also reduces the chance of post-inflammation, erythema and hyperpigmentation. So the key to understand is that for successful treatment of hormonal acne, you actually need a multi-pronged approach. And when you stop oral treatment, say with a contraceptive pill, you have to maintain at least topical therapy because it does not change the fact that you are and any individual suffering from acne is genetically predisposed to this condition. And as you know, one cannot change your genetics. Well, that's it for this week's Flash Briefing. Remember to follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can find me on Instagram at Dr. Tiowan Lin, where I give regular updates on the latest podcast episodes. Thank you for joining us and see you guys next time. Thank you.